Hello, Miss. Hello, Miss. Hello, Miss. Miss. Hello, Miss. Hello, Miss. Hello, Miss. <laughs> Two walk-in appointments, one lottery appointment this trip. I had to change my flight twice. So stay tuned for all that. Drama, obvious lying that they were doing. I, some of it was in my head, some of it, I think they're just doing this to everyone. It's not like a discrimination thing. I just think it's, they're making it much, much harder to get a bag. Even if you have purchase history, even if you have an appointment, even if you have everything. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mike and I'm a fashion freak, a geek, a luxury lover, a shopaholic, she shithead, and Hermes. <laughs> and today, do we know what today's video is? Do we know what today's video is? Today! Okay, so first of all, sorry, I'm still still sick, but I gotta powering through. So excuse me if my voice sounds funny. Excuse me if I cough. It's really sexy when I cough though, so you'll like it. And excuse me if I take breaks. But basically, today's video is my Hermes journey, working for my Birkin in France, part two, or France part two, my second Paris trip trying this. And this is part one. Maybe this will be a two-part thing. Maybe this will be just one really long video. Not really sure. I'm just gonna go through my entire experience, going back again to Paris, to FSH, Severs and or saying to try to get a bag. Did I get one? Did I not? Did I get one? Did I not? Am I holding on the bag? Maybe I got one, maybe I didn't. So I'm gonna tell you my whole journey, where I left off from last time, kind of where I left it, and where I am now, and what's what I feel and all that. If you watch my previous videos, you can see my journey. I did a four part of my experience there in November of 2022 and what happened and how I left it with everyone thing there. Then I did my expectations at the beginning of this year in January of what I thought was gonna happen going in right before I let go on the air, airplane come and now I'm gonna tell you about my whole experience there. So if that's something you're interested in, please stick around. Please grab a cup of coffee, get a cup of, get a soda, get a juice, get a, get a cocktail. I don't know, there's gonna be a long, it's a lot of story, a lot of stuff, lots of twists and turns, drama again. <laughs> I found out a lot more info about how the whole process works, secrets about how the process works, so stay tuned for that. More secrets about how the process works. The new way the game is played now, what I did right, what I did wrong, what is still not working in my favor, what is working in my favor. I talked to other couples, I talked to other people there, I talked to people who have gotten bags, I talked to people who didn't get bags, I talked, I literally did a whole like deep dive into this. This is gonna be a long video. So, recap, where I left it was at FSH. I was going to be, I had spoken to my lady about coming back in January, I emailed saying I was coming, I hadn't heard from her, but she, she had said just come in and ask for me and I will help you get your bag. Several I kind of the guy had left but the other lady was really nice and she wanted to help me and she was like come back George Sank was kind of like a weird question mark because I had a whole mishap issue happen and if you want to know any of those stories just literally watch my fashion Fridays playlist or just you know search my videos you'll see what happened in there basically I came in January with a clean slate hoping to not with a clean slate but like kind of hoping to start fresh my friend came with me he had had luck Severus last time he got a bag he got that Evelyn PM black Evelyn PM that I unboxed that we share now so I'm just gonna go through we're gonna go through we're gonna, this is gonna be a drama there's some lying there's some obvious lying that they were doing but also I think that it's not all just me I, some of it was in my head some of it I think and they're just doing this to everyone it's not like a discrimination thing. I just think it's they're making it much much harder to get a bag even if you have purchase history even if you have an appointment even if you have everything I gotta walk in got two walk-in appointments and one lottery appointment this trip let's just dive into it I think I'm definitely gonna do this parts okay <coughs> sexy sexy Okay, so the flight on Saturday morning forgot like an idiot. I was like literally lying laying in my in my seat on the plane and I realized I had not registered that morning, Saturday morning, for Monday. So we lost lost our Monday register. So already off to a really great start. Because I, I this trip I wanted six straight consecutive days where I could try. That was my first day that I lost. So I was like, okay, great, off to a great start. Anyway, didn't do it. Sunday got there, did a bunch of other stuff, went to Louis Vuitton, bought other things, things like that. Monday, Monday morning, day one. So went to FSH first, first thing, first thing in the morning. And you know, I went in, we just walked around. I wanted to see if my lady was there. I couldn't see her. I was kind of avoid the other guy that was kind of an annoying little guy who was literally there every day. Of course, he was there every day. But we didn't, he didn't see me until later on. So more on him later. I saw him, I avoided him. I walked around, I saw some of the same people. I went to the counter, I asked if she was available. They said she was out sick today. And I was like, oh, okay, well, okay, it's fine. So I was just like, great, thank you, and I left. I was like, I'm not gonna stick around, I'm not gonna make a big deal, I'm not gonna move on, I'm just gonna move on, go to the next store, and go to the next store, because I didn't wanna sit and wait. And, and I just wanted to work with her, 
she told me she was gonna give me my back and I didn't need to like play the game with other people or try to like spend or whatever, do the whole thing with other categories and stuff like that. So then I was like, okay, that's fine. And then I was like, should we go to Severus? And I was like, no, I don't really need to go to Severus because my guy wasn't there. And I don't know if my girl was there or not, but I was like, I don't know. We wanted to do other things. And then Monday evening, Monday evening, we were, we were staying by George Sang. So Monday evening we went back to George Sang. Went up, there's the same people. I just, we walked in. Same people, everyone was super nice and friendly. Like there was nothing, there was no, like they definitely forgot us. Went up to the counter and there was this really nice lady there. We were like, hey, we're here to get, it. we were wondering if we could make an, uh, if they could squeeze us in for a bag. And she was like, what bag was you looking for? And I said, I was looking for a Kelly or maybe a Lindy. I don't know why I said Lindy, it just, just cause I just gotten it. I, it popped in my head and I just said it. And she was like, she's like, okay, um, I, you need an appointment for those kind of bags. I don't, I don't think I, you know, and then, and then, and she turned to my friend and he said an Evelyn. I don't know why he said an Evelyn. I told him not to say an Evelyn, but he said an Evelyn. And so she's like, okay. He's like, let me see what I can do. But you need an appointment for both those kind of bags. She was like, why don't you guys sit over here and let me see what I can do. It's like this thing your first day, they're always really nice to you on your first day. It's like the first time they're seeing you, maybe they forget you or they haven't. But after the first day, they always make exceptions and move you in either for the first day or you get an appointment on the sixth day. I've heard a lot of the times you get an appointment on your sixth try, which is what happened to us. You, you get an appointment on your sixth try and, you, and their first day, it feels like they're very friendly and they like make an exception if they can for you because it's their first time seeing you. So it is what's going on in my head. I think she saw she saw us, she said like, go hang out here, we'll see if, what, what we can do. And so then we were hanging out for a little bit and sitting there just waiting and we we're looking around you know and then this lovely lady comes up to us and she was like hi how can I help you what are you looking for it and I said I was looking for a Kelly or a Lindy and she was like oh, yeah we, we don't have we don't have a permit for those we, we don't have those kind of but you have to make an appointment and he said at Evelyn again and I was like okay and then she's like I do have this kind of like Victoire bag this like briefcase bag or bully bag things like that and I was like no I'm not really interested she's like if you want something kind of like Lindy we have something like this and I was like no I don't want that I want my bag and she was like, okay, let me go speak to my colleagues and see what I can do about this. And we were like, okay, great. And I was like, look, I really want to get my bag. And she was like, okay, I, I, you need to buy my friend and the bag. And I don't know if we have those right now. Oh, she asked for my friend's passport. Not for mine, for his. I don't know why she didn't want mine. I think it was because he wanted an Evelyn. So she went away, she came back and she said, great news. I can squeeze you in for a leather appointment oh, for him. Not for you. And then she's like, let me write down your thing. She's like, this is your appointment. Please don't try to register again for the next 10 days. And I was like, I did not know that because now he's basically out of the running for 10 days. Oh, by the way, also I have other friends coming. I had like a couple other friends coming from out of town too as well from LA and from New York to try as well with us. So I was like, oh, great. So now he's out and she's like, don't register for the next 10 days. You won't be given an appointment. This is this is your leather appointment. It's like, well, that's not good. She said something along the lines of like, even with a leather appointment, there's no Kelly's or Perkins. You can't ask for that. I was like, well, what's the point of having a leather appointment then? Like. You literally make this so hard and then you say you get an appointment and if you get an appointment, you can ask for the bag. She wouldn't even let us ask for the bag. <coughs> <coughs> I can't even speak. So she was like, what color are you looking for? What, color, what size Evelyn? He was like a mini one. We, I think we had said mini the whole time because he already had that. And she was like, okay, let, let me see what, what we have. What color are you looking for? And we said, we really like chai, the color chai. She's like, okay, neutral, neutral. He's like, yeah, chai is great because of our dog and things like that. We really like that color. And also we definitely also would be interested in, he said he'd be interested in like a red or like a, you know, a, 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 a pop of color, like a red or a blue or something. I think he just said red. I think he said like a bright red or something like that. I don't know why he said that, but she was just talking to him. She was really ignoring me. She was like basically just talking to him. And I was like, okay, cool. I already feel great. They're ignoring me again. <laughs> And so she goes away, she comes back to two boxes. Like, I have these two options for you. She's like, I have this option, which is a, she opens it up and she's like, it's Rouge Cellier. It's like this dark red. It'll look redder in the light, but it's more like a chocolate brown look with gold hardware. And then she kept going into talking about the leather and like how to take care of it and what it's like. And she was answering all, like all these questions that we hadn't even asked about like the care and the thing and the shape and like, how there are different leather specialists. Maybe at George Sank, but there are different leather specialists for shapes. So she's, her specialty is this Evelyn bag and shapes like these round shapes. Whereas like she couldn't really help with a different shape or a different type of bag, which is why she was like, I can't really help you with the Kelly. She's like, there's a different leather specialist that does that. So now they're like specializing the bags. Like each leather specialist is specialized in certain bags only, which is even more difficult. You have to get a leather specialist that knows either Kelly's or Lind or Birkin's or, or Constance's. But I guess that would make her a Constance girl too, but I don't know, anyway. And then, so then he went and tried it on and then she's like, and my other option is this one. And she brought out like a new 
neutral. So she brought out a reddish color one because he asked for red and then neutral. So she brought out a black one with palladium hardware, classic noir. So he tried them on on. By the way, also everyone was looking at us like there was, only, it's a very small store and there's only like five or six people. There's another, like there are a couple of guys that are looking. Everyone was just looking and like staring and watching, waiting. Cause I think there was only two or three leather specialists working and she was the only one out on the floor helping us. So he looked at both of them and he got one, each one, which he gave to me. Anyway, so she went to, check him out. I was gonna pay for it, but then he paid for it. She couldn't find his profile. They were talking to each other in French and apparently he has two profiles and they couldn't figure out which one was it. And one had the other Evelyn on it and one had nothing on it. And they were like trying to figure out which was his profile. I think he has two profiles or I think there's another person with his name that has a profile. I'm not very sh confused because like, I'm not sure why. Eventually they figured it out, paid for it. And then I was like, hey, um, is there any way we can get your contact info? And she was like, yeah, of course. And she took out her phone and gave us her email. And she's like, just reach out to me. She's like, I can help you with other things, but I cannot help you with getting a leather appointment for a guy. And I was like, she was like very clear, like, no, no, no. And then I was like, okay, great, that's fine. So she wrapped it up and we took it. And then as we were leaving, I was like, why don't I just ask her so she can tell me other things and start to go with her. Because so I wanted to get a very specific, I wanted to get a polo. I, want, I had a list of things I wanted to get like small things that I wanted to get and I wanted to get them when the opportunity presented itself to buy it because I wanted to get them because they were cheaper in France but I also wanted to use it strategically. I had this whole plan of when I was going to buy things and who I was going to buy it with and try to build that relationship. And I was like, she's, she's a lovely lady. Like she was very sweet and specific but she said, no, she can help but like I feel like maybe she could. I, like, we ran back, I ran back to her and I was like, hey, are you still busy? Can you help me actually close? She said, yeah, of course. Just give me a second. So she took us upstairs and I was like, I was looking for these, this, this polo, this shirt, this, this, this and these sandals, these sandals. And I had told her that the polos I wanted, I had asked, I had requested with that guy who had helped us last time at George Sink, the one that we had the mishap with, he had set them aside for me and we'd been texting and he'd been fairly friendly. And I said that he had set them aside and I didn't know if he was here. Then while she was helping us, I saw him walk by and he saw us too. He didn't acknowledge, but I, he definitely saw us. And I was like, oh, okay, well, sorry. I mean, she's helping us now. So I was like, I felt kind of bad, but not whatever. I was like, he was busy and I had e I had texted him a few times being like, hey, coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Are you available? Are you working? And he hadn't responded or hadn't responded, hadn't responded. So I was like, all right, fine. If you're not gonna respond, I'm gonna have to work with someone else. He responded originally that he had some of the polos. Anyways, she couldn't find any of them. I was like, okay. Then somehow we got into like custom, like bespoke and like, made to tailor fit suits. And I was like, oh, I might be interested in that. I need to get a suit for my sister's wedding, which is in April. And she's like, oh, okay, well then we need to start this process right away. We need to set up a time with a tailor and schedule. She's like, let me know your schedule. Email me some times that work for you. And she went through the whole process of how it works. It's like custom fitted, da da da. They do a couple of sizings. You can get scarves put inside as a lining. You buy like four scarves to make the inside lining, whatever scarves you want. You pick the colors, you can pick the pattern, the whole thing. Like a vest starts at like 900. A suit starts at like two or 3,000, I think, for the shirt top of the bottom. And I was like, you know what? This is really cool. I mean, I, I actually kind of really like this whole thing and I would be down. I didn't know if that was gonna help me get a bag or not. And I would be doing it to get a bag, you know? So I was like, let me think about it. Let me email you. Let me talk to my sister. Let me get some She was really friendly and really helpful. She showed me, she brought all these booklets and swatches and everything like that and explained the whole process and was like very friendly. And I was like, okay, I will email you sometimes. But anyway, so she, so that was that. And then I was like, okay, thank you so much. We'll talk soon. And I was like, look, I still really want a bag. And she's like, I can't help you. And I was like, great. but. We did get this, so I'll just do a little unboxing of this. So I'm terrible at doing these unboxings now, apparently. This is the bag I got. What do you think? Just kidding. But I have been thinking about making this a bag. Like, it's basically a bag, right? Put some stuff in here, tie it to the two sides, take a twilly, twilly and tie it. That's funny. Here it is. <laughs> So it's Rouge Cellier. It kind of looks like a chocolate brown, but it also has this like purple tint. It's supposed to look more red in the light, but I don't think so. I think it's more, it looks more like a purple to me. Anyway, it's called Rouge Cellier and with gold hardware. And it is, I really like the gold hardware. Big empty pocket in the middle. Julio, that's what it looks like. Mm -hmm. So that was the end of day, what? Day two and day three. So Tuesday, day two, we registered online, didn't get an appointment. I didn't know, I knew he wasn't gonna get an appointment because he'd just gotten a bag. I didn't get one. Tuesday morning, went back to FSH, asked again for her, she wasn't available. She was not working today. So at this point I'm getting a little nervous. I'm like, she knew I was coming this week. Is she avoiding me? Or are they hiding her from me like they did last time? Like with the other girl at Severus, are they hiding her from me? Because. Monday, she was out sick. Tuesday, she's not working. But I did remember that Tuesday was her day off last time she had said that. So I was like, okay, fine, Tuesday's her day off. Not gonna push it. I walked around. 
I went up to a really nice guy in the clothing department and I asked him if he had the polos that I was looking for to see if I could just start building a relationship with him. He said, of course, sure, let me go check and come back. He was super nice, super friendly, like so nice. I was like, wow. And then he he went away, came back with a couple of polo options. I was like, oh, this is, no, no, no. He didn't have the one I wanted. He said, there are two at Severs, go try it at Severs. And I was like, okay, fair enough. So I was like, okay, let's let's do that. I'll go try, we'll try it at Severs. But I also wanted my friend to go to Severs by himself and go and find his guy. Oh, we did go to Severs. I think, so, again, days confusing. I should have written this down, but I think we did go to Severs on Monday or if we did go to Severs on Tuesday, he went by himself. He went in, he asked for the guy that sold in the oven the last time. Went up to the counter. The lady was super nice and helpful, said she was checking his schedule, spent some time. She said he's not, has no availability he's not he's booked up let me see if i can have someone else help you he's like okay that's great so then they sat him down and he spoke to one of the really nice guys at the counter and asked for a leather appointment and the guy was like we're booked up it's like we're booked up but come back tomorrow and i'll get you in i was like great you did that he went by himself i'd not go in i wanted to keep my distance he went back in by himself no he didn't go in by himself he actually didn't go back until wednesday thursday scratch that Tuesday, I went in by myself at the end of the day, asked for my lady. They were like, let me see if she's available. And she's available. And everyone was super nice and helpful. There was two ladies at the counter. They were super helpful. And she was like, let's see if she's available. So I just sat and I waited for a little bit. And then she came out. She saw me. She gave me this huge hug. It was like this, the happiest moment. I was like, oh my God, hi. So good to see you. Big hug. I gave her a big hug. How are you? How was your holidays? How was everything? So good to see you. I'm blah, blah, blah. I was like, yeah, I'm great, but I'm great, blah, blah, blah. And she was like, she was just like, so she was actually very nice and very happy to see me. And she, I was like, listen, I'm so sorry how we left it last time. I was just stressed out. And she's like, oh, it's totally fine. I get it. And she's like, you're here to get your bag, aren't you? And I was like, yes. She's like, okay, it's the end of the day today. I can't help you today. My managers are gone, but come back tomorrow at 11 and I will ask my managers. And I was like, great, let's do that. So I felt good leaving Tuesday night from her. There, she said, come back Wednesday. I will help you. Come at 11 a.m. I will help you get your bag. I was like, okay, great. So that was Tuesday. So then, Wednesday morning, first I go to FSH to check and see if my lady's there. I get there, at I get there at 10, we get there at 10. We're the first ones in line. And then somehow this, this girl like was on the other side. She came after us, she didn't have an appointment. And the guy was like, the line's over here. And she just stood, stands in front of me. And I was like, whatever, it's fine. I'm not gonna fight her. She was clearly like, on a mission to get a bag too. And I was like, whatever, it's fine. So we were second to go in. I go straight in. I ask again for my lady. They say, uh, she's not working today. And I was like, what do you mean she's not working today? And they were like, I think she's out sick. And I was like, okay, well, can I talk to someone? Because she told me to come this week. I was here this, I came this week to work with her. She said she was gonna help me get a bag. Is there anyone I can talk to about it? I was like, is blah, blah, blah available? And the guy's like, he's upstairs. So I go upstairs. I see the manager who had helped me before. I was like, hi, hey, how are you? He's like, hey, good to see you. I was like, I don't know if you remember me, but you helped me last time I was here. And he was like, he was like, oh, right, yeah, yeah, in November to get a bag. And I was like, yeah. He's like, is blah, 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 available? She told me to come this week. We were supposed to meet up. I said, I said we were supposed to meet up. I, we had an appointment, but she's been out sick. And he's like, let me, let me check. I don't think she's working today. I think she's out sick. And I was like, okay, well, yeah, I'm just, I came here this week to meet her. I flew in for this. So please, if you can just, just rest her. She's like, did you email her? I was like, I emailed, I haven't heard back. I didn't say I emailed her because I don't have her email because she didn't give me her email. I just emailed a generic Hermes contact and asked for, asked for her. So he's like, just, you know, whatever. So I went downstairs, we waited for a little bit. Waited for like 20 minutes, didn't hear, he's like, he thought, I'll let you know. And he's like, okay. Like, ugh, this is getting really annoying. We want to go to the other store. Comes back and he's like, hey. He's like, I'm so, so sorry. She's dealing with a personal issue. I don't know when she's gonna be back, but she's not here. She said she's not available today. I was like, okay, well, is there like any way you can let her know I'm here because I, I came here this week for her. And he's like, He's like, I'm so, so sorry. I was like, is there some way you, you have someone else set me up? Can you squeeze me in like last time? And squeeze me in with somebody else, please. Cause you squeezed me in last time. He's like, yeah, I remember. He's like, I'll come back and try again tomorrow. Hopefully, is she working tomorrow? He's like, yeah, she should be working tomorrow. And I was like, okay, I'll come back tomorrow. Oh, I was like, he was like, come back later this afternoon. I was like, can you squeeze me in? He's like, we're full right now. You can come back around four and try. And I was like, okay, I'll come back around four and see if you can squeeze me in around four. I go back around four. He's not there. He's not available. He's in some meeting for the rest of the day and unable won't be able to help me is what they tell me eventually. After this day, he disappears for the rest of the, the trip too, which is starting to worry me. So like it's day three now, she has not been available and this guy will end up disappearing for the rest of my trip and I don't see him. So now I think that they're hiding him from me or like, you know, I think they do this thing where once you've asked for someone or you like want to work with someone and they know that they like make that person not available or they like somehow hide them from you. I don't know what they do. It's very, it's very weird because get this. So I go back to Severa's next. <sighs> okay, so I go to Severa's. I go to Severa and I ask for my lady and they were like, 
okay, yeah, please just wait. And they were being a little weird now again to me. And they're like, well, we'll see if we can find her. I don't know where she is. I don't think she's working today. And I was like, well, I'll just wait. Can you please check for her? So a couple minutes go by. It's like 1130 by this point. And then she finally comes out and she's like, hi. And I was like, hi. She's like, did you get helped? And I was like, no, I was waiting for you. I thought you were gonna help me. And she's like, oh, okay, well, yeah, let's go see. I was like, yeah, I would just love to get an appointment. And she's like, okay. And then so she's goes to the counter, there's no one at the leather counter, it's just her, and she goes, she says, let me go check with my colleagues, I'll be right back. She goes away, she comes back, she grabs a phone from the desk, goes away, and I was like, okay, great, yeah, I'll be right here. 20, 30 minutes go by, I don't see her, other people come out. 30 minutes go by, this other lady comes up to me, and different ladies, like, hi, yes, you're waiting for, you know, whatever, and I was like, yeah. She's like, hi, how can I help you? And I was like, oh, I'm waiting for, you know, whoever, and she's like, oh yeah, she was pulled into an emergency meeting, she's gonna be gone. Uh, she's not available for the rest of the day. She's gonna be she's in the meeting for a couple of hours And I was like what she literally just ha left and said she was gonna help me again She was like she's like yeah, she's not available now She's like but I can help you and I was like well she was gonna help me get an appointment She's like oh, yeah, no, there's no appointments available and I was like well She told me she was gonna help me get an appointment and they were like yeah Well, I'm so so sorry. There's nothing I can do about that, but if you need anything else I'll be here for you And now I'm thinking first of all, I'm like what how she pulled into an emergency meeting and that she's not available for the rest of the day Second of all, that's the exact same thing they told me last time when she tried to help me and she went back there They made her disappear on and like was not available for the rest of the day So now I'm thinking they're like, yeah, they are kind of like against me or holding some sort of grudge or something like that And I talked to one of my French friends who said that is very strange that they would give you that same excuse twice for her months apart I almost said I was like I almost was gonna be like you told me that last time you made up this thing last time But I didn't <sighs> and I just left that was Wednesday and Mind you, we're staying by George Sank. I should have gone to George Sank every day and just checked it there because last time we stayed by FSH and I had gone there every day. It's such a trek to go there and I didn't go to FSH. So at this point, I'm starting to get a little frustrated, worried, concerned, and also like, is this gonna happen for me? It feels like it's not gonna happen for me. And also it feels like they are, there's some sort of like thing against me. Anyway, I leave it alone and I leave. Thursday, this is back in Severus, and I knew that those poles were there, so I just go up to the counter lady, and I'm super nice, I'm like, hey, can you help me actually buy a shirt? I just go in with this new attitude on Thursday, actually, sorry, Thursday I go in with no, I'm trying to get an appointment, I just go in just the counter, like, hey, I'm trying to get a polo. They told me at the other store that you might have the polo here. Is it possible for you to show me this polo? She's like, yeah, of course, I'm happy to help you. And she's like very excited. So she goes, <coughs> so I give her the, the code number of the polo. She comes back with the polo, I was like, and some other options. I was like, no, this is the one, it's great, I like it, I want it. Or I think she comes back with a t-shirt first. And then I was like, no, I want the polo. She's like, oh, okay. I was like, okay, good, I'll take the polo. And she's like, do you want anything else? I was like, hey, do you have these Sheepras in this size or uh, these Izmirs in this size? I was like, I already got a pair of Sheepras. Can I get another pair? She's like, no, but you can get another pair of Izmirs. She goes back, she brings me out the wrong ones. She brings me out the fur ones. I asked for the non-fur ones. I try them on anyway. I don't really want them. She's like, is there anything else? Can help you with it. I was like, I think that's it. And then she goes away, and then I see that that guy, the director guy of Severus, who I talked to last time when I complained about my whole issue about how I was feeling like I was mistreated and stuff like that. And I think there was a note on my account, and I wanted to ask him about it. He walked by and I recognized him after he was gone, so I couldn't ask him. I was gonna be like, because I never got his contact info to follow up. And be like, hey, was there a note on my account? Because I know there's a note on my account. And I was like, hey. I wanted to ask him, but and he looked at me, we looked, he made eye contact, and then he just kept going down this hallway, and I was waiting for him to come back out, he never came back out. I was like, okay, I'll try again another time. Meanwhile, I also saw Michael Conte twice again too, which I'll talk about in a sec. But, so yeah, she walks me to the checkout counter. She's like, great, let's bring you up. She's like, is there anything else I can help you with as I'm walking out? And I was like, is there any way you can help me get a bag of home? And she's like, oh, I'm so, so sorry. You can try talking to the colleagues here, but I can't really help you. And I was like, great. So I see that other lady from the other day and I was like, hey, hi. She's like, hi, I was like, hi dude, you don't remember me. She's like, no, I'm so sorry. And I was like, I was wondering, and she's like, oh yeah, you asking for it. Yeah, and I was like, yeah, is she here? She's like, no, she's not here today. And I was like, okay. Okay. is there any way you can squeeze me in? She's like, no, no, I'm so sorry. I was like, what about for a men's other appointment? She was like, oh, okay, yeah, let me ask about that. So she goes over, she says, yeah, we can see you for men's wife, just have a seat, let me talk to my body. I'm like, fine, we'll, we'll try for a men's other appointment. I'm gonna pause right here, you guys, because I feel really sick, but I'm gonna just open this. So this is what I got. <coughs> so they wrapped it up in this little thing, which is kinda cute. They just took another bag and wrapped it, basically. I guess they do this, like, cool tuck-in thing, which I never have seen them do at our store. Basically just the bag. It's like an envelope bag, which is kind of cool, right? Maybe this is something that all bags do and we just didn't know that. I will never know. Anyway. Here it is. Green polo though. Yay! Okay, I'm jumping around a lot. I still feel really horrible. I'm gonna cut here and I'll probably go back to some of this story because I 
it skips out some of the details and stuff like that, some of the juicy stuff. But yeah, okay, thanks guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, stay, stay tuned for the next part, okay? Yay, stay tuned for the next part. Okay, <laughs> I didn't even talk about any of the drama. There's so much drama. Stay tuned for the next part. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. Please smash that like button. If you like it, please share with your friends and family. If you hate it, share with your enemies and exes. I know your time is valuable. I know your time is precious. I appreciate you spending your time here with me. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one. Stay tuned, it's coming. Part two, part two, part two, part two, part two.